Today I'm going to take you way back into the mists of time. Into those wonderful years in 1978 when Gary Glitter wasn't accused of molesting young children, Rolf Harris was just some innocent entertainer with a wobble board, and the United States was undergoing what appeared to the rest of the world to be a dollar collapse. Yeah, that's right dollar collapse. Now that's something we're hearing a lot about because a lot of people think that a dollar collapse is imminent because all the things that happened in 1978 are happening around about now. Now America at the moment is pushing and goading both Chinese and the Russians but more especially the Russians into starting some sort of new Cold War. Why is this? Hmm. Well, if you look back at 1978, we may find the reason. Uh, in 1978, there were a lot of countries that were caught in what was called the dollar trap. And what that meant was that because the dollar was the reserve currency and you could only buy and sell oil in dollars, there were some countries that had large amounts of dollars, notably Saudi Arabia. So if we just take Saudi Arabia's position as a case, they had $65 billion worth of reserves in dollars. Now today that doesn't sound a lot because we're used to talking in trillions, but then believe me that was one heck of a lot of money. And a dollar collapse concerned them because you imagine, for each percent the dollar goes down, you lose 1% of the value of your $65 billion. This is not good news. And it's worse than that because you can't really sell those dollars and convert to another currency that's more stable because as soon as you start selling, guess what? You drive the price down yourself, so the situation just gets worse. So you have very little choice but to hang on to your dollars and try to support the American economy, which of course is what Saudi Arabia did. Now, there are still a lot of countries in the dollar trap today for a similar reason, because the dollar is the world's reserve currency. However, a lot of those, a lot of those countries are starting to lever their way out of the dollar trap and they're dealing in other currencies apart from the dollar, they've reduced their dollar holdings uh, not compared to what they were in 1978 but compared to what they were a year or two ago. So there is some action going on that suggests yeah the rest of the world knows what's coming. Now this support from dollar trap countries wasn't actually the main thing that saved the US dollar. What saved the US dollar was the fact that a lot of the countries bordering Russia, and some of the countries that weren't, such as Japan, were really, really scared of what Russia was going to do. Because the Cold War mentality had taken hold. Well, these Russians, they're going to take over everything. Um, if the American currency collapses and America can no longer afford to keep their place in Europe with all the tanks that they had in East Germany and the missiles and everything else, then the Russians are just going to roll over Europe and take over Europe. Well, of course that didn't happen. But the mindset at the time was that it would happen. And so the UK, Germany, France, lots and lots of other countries, including Japan, which is nowhere near Russia, but was rather scared of what Russia might do, um, clubbed together and helped get the US out of trouble. Now, those countries now actually have quite good relationships with Russia. They're not really scared of Russia so much anymore. In fact, if you actually look, it makes more sense to be scared of the United States. Um, Russia certainly haven't overthrown eight countries over the last uh, couple of decades, like the United States have. Russia isn't flying drones around all over the place and killing civilians and 
deciding who lives and dies with the flick of a switch somewhere in Nevada? No. In fact, to a great extent, Russia and the US have swapped places. And maybe that will be another video. But, it is now time, as it comes up to this dollar collapse that everyone is talking about, for America to try and make the situation very similar to the situation that saved it in 1978. So, of course, they've now actually taken on Russia's role because America has just admitted that they have first strike plans for a nuclear war with both Russia and China. Not defence plans, first strike. Now this is very provocative, you know. This is like the kid coming up to you in the playground and saying, I'm going to do nasty things to your sister. Um, this is not really international diplomacy, this is an attempt to create a problem where at the moment none exists. And there's another poke in the eye for Russia. A bomber has just been to Poland and he said, oh, he's going to give them a hundred billion to actually have some missile bases there, some anti-ballistic missile bases, so that Russia, this is the thought, cannot conduct a first strike against the United States because they will have their missiles shut down. Whereas the United States can still conduct the first strike against Russia because they, d they don't have an in-depth missile defense system. Can we see where this is all going? This is all going back to the days of the Cold War because Obama and his group of what for lack of a better word I'll call crony capitalists they want to save their backsides because they don't have a lot of choice but to be in dollars and the dollar they know is going to go down the pan so they want to provoke Russia they want to get back to a Cold War status. They want to make all the nations around Russia nervous of what's going to happen. And they want those nations to support the United States. Well, I think we shouldn't let them, really. I mean, <laughs> just because they didn't have the guts to let the banking system fold when they should have done, when the collapse happened in 2008 we are now going to pay the price not just us, the whole world is going to pay the price for America's mistakes and I think it's about time that that stopped happening not sure what we'll do about it but never mind, I'm sure we'll find something thanks very much for listening bye